Hey guys, welcome to my new Iron Man series. This is going to be episode one, and I'm just going to be showing what you should be doing when starting in Iron Man. So the goal of this episode is just to show you guys what you should do first when creating an Iron Man on free to play before you get that membership. So I'm just going to be doing all the stuff you should be doing before you actually put some money into this account and. Yeah, so first, I'm probably going to do that Blood Slayer quest in Lumbridge. So yeah, guys, I got this quest done. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to probably do some more quests. Uh, grind out that Goblin Diplomacy quest. All I have to do for that is just kill some goblins. Hope I can get those Goblin Chain mails. It's going to really suck. So yeah, I'll see you after that. Hey guys, so Goblin Diplomacy is done. Got a gold bar, 200 crafting XP, and those five quest points, so that's really nice. Next, I'll probably do a few more quests. There's the Knight's Sword. I want to do Imp Catchers and Rune Mysteries, just so I can start getting some Rune Essence. So, I'll be back when I finish those ones. So I just finished Room Mysteries. I also finished Imp Catcher and the King's The Knight's Sword. Sorry about that. Uh, Imp Catcher was fairly simple, just getting beads by killing imps. Took half an hour. The Knight's Sword, that well, this quest is actually really useful. 12,000 smithing XP. So that's going to be nice. I'll probably work on some mining and smithing later on. So I can make myself some, some nice armor. It's free to play, so it shouldn't be too hard. So right now I think I'll work on some rune crafting just because I'm in the mood for it. So let's see how far I can get with that. So I'm just about to get level 24 rune crafting. This has really re reminded me why I hate rune crafting so much. It is such a brutal skill. So now I need to make a bit of money. So I'm going to go do the stronghold in the barbarian village get that over with and then next i think i'll train some combat stats so i got that done 10k right there and they got these nice fancy boots yeah they look pretty fancy all right time to do some combat Guys, so as you can see here, I got 36 attack, 36 strength, and 31 defense, 36 constitution as well. So I got that just from killing some chickens, goblins, imps all around here. So you can see these other stats I kind of got pretty high. Well, I kind of got them without recording, so I'll just show you what I did to get those just to finish off this first episode. Uh, the uh, fishing. I pretty much was a drainer, just fishing some shrimp it was pretty useless, and cooking, just cooked them. And here I was just over a drainer, just you know, cutting some trees, logs, oak, and then I just burned the willows when I cut those. And yeah, so that was pretty simple and straightforward. The magic I just used the staff of air, air, killed some goblins with them there bunch of feathers from killing all those chickens let's see what else I did I got 31 to engineering pretty useful skill it's pretty simple so that one is really useful especially when you get member just so you can get those uh, whatever they are chaotic weapons really useful uh, another thing I'll show you how I did got the mining and the smithing up first of all what is it this quest right here you really should do that just to start off get your smithing like really high so I was just in uh, Lumbridge mining some tin and copper ore just went and smelted it got a few levels once I hit 15 15 uh, mining I went and did this so right now I am in the mine right under Falador and the dungeoneering level is really important here. I think it's 15 you need to unlock that resource dungeon where it has a deposit box. 
So I was just here mining the iron ore. Whenever you get a full inventory going here, and there's the deposit box to deposit them. So it's pretty easy. I got quite a bit of noted or just banked iron ore, and then I just smelted them right after. Also got my mining level up more by doing this. Just mined pretty much everything. A little bit of silver, a little bit of coal once I hit 30 mining. So that is what I did for the mining and smithing skills. So I bought the sword right here from this guy. Mithril, mithril, mithril right there, mithril dagger, mithril long sword is what I bought. So you can buy Admin. The hunt really is going to be for that rune equipment. And for the mithril armor, you just got to go up here, buy it here. You can buy your steel too or whatever you need. But I bought my mithril from this guy. He sells all the, the plate body and all that. And yeah, the plate legs, I'm pretty sure I got from a drop from some hill giants or something, maybe. I don't know, I don't really know, quite know where. And one last thing on this video, the crafting. Crafting is really easy to train up to that level. I also got my mining up quite a bit. I always used to get my crafting up. At the low levels, just go to the Barbarian Village, mine this clay. It's really easy. I have silver ore in there. So, yeah, you just want to get the full inventory of this. Then you would go up to this well right here. You want to use the clay on the well. Get some soft clay. Then you want to go in this room, you want to use this potter's wheel, it's simple, start with the leg, and make whatever is best, you start with the pots, went to the pie dish, then the bowl, so you just mold the bowls, and then you would put it in the pottery oven, like that. Pretty simple, so I got it from 1 to 30 just by doing this. It is really boring, but it is nice to have. And looks like that's what I did for every skill. Prayer, just bearing some bones after a few kills and I picked them up. So, yeah. Hey guys, this is going to be it for the first video. I am currently...